students welcome to the online session for the subject of industrial shift these are the virtual classes for the subject of industrial shift the subject of industrial shift is mainly for the students of civil engineering particularly structural engineering and mechanical engineering so here we will be discussing all the topics that are related to the subject of industrial shift so now we will be starting with our session so 3 2 1 let's go hello students welcome to the online session for the subject of industrial safety so today let's start with our session the topic for the today's discussion is wear and corrosion and the prevention methods so let's start with our session let's see the outlines so first of all we are going to see the effect of the wear and next we are going to list down the wear improvement methods we have already discussed what is wear how it is being defined and how it is being caused seen in the previous session so let's start with our today's session so first is effect of wear what are the effects of wear what are the effects that a machine can get because of the wear so first of all it is overheating then change in the alignment next is vibration that can be caused because of the wear noisy operation can be found because of the wear next is quality reduction leakage development in the mechanical parts of the machine because of the wear lower efficiency the working efficiency can be reduced because of the wear complete abrasion can be found because of the wear so these are just the list of the effects of the wear on the machine we will have a brief discussion on it so let's start with the discussion so first to topic for the discussion is overheating so we all know that the machine that is being designed should be having some design temperature it will have some amount of temperature that can be resisted the designing during the designing only some temperature will be there and that will be properly easily resisted by the machine so that is the standard temperature that can be resisted by the machine but due to some occurrence or due to overloading the temperature increases so that will not be tolerated by the machine and as a result of this loosening of the parts will occur the machine spare parts will start loosening and as a result of this its load taking capacity will be reduced and ultimately the properties will also get reduced and this is how the overheating will be affected to the machine so yes it is necessary that the wearing should not take place and it should be prevented and as a result of this the efficiency will be maintained so we have some pictures where we can see that the heat is coming out from the engine of a automobile now from here we can say that the temperature in the car has been increased and that is quite beyond than what the temperature that is being resisted by the machine so in that case the temperature is being raised and the automobile will not be able to resist the temperature and heating will be shown in the engine and ultimately the smoke will come out from the engine similarly we are having the another picture where the motor is being overheated it is being overloaded or it is being working since long time so because of this the heating in the motor has taken place and we can see the smoke coming out from the motor and ultimately its efficiency has been reduced and it it requires repairing so this is how overheating used to take place next is change in the alignment we have we all know that in the machine there are the spacings spacing between the shaft spacing between the uh, gears and between many other uh, components so this is what the alignment is it is nothing but a clear distance between the bushing and the shaft ball bearing and the shaft and when the modification between them takes place then the wear will occur the chances of the wear can occur when the distance between these components 
varies. If it varies from what it has been designed, then there is a chance of the occurrence of the wear. And uh, shaft will not rotate in its proper position in which it has been designed and ultimately the alignment of the machine will get reduced. Ultimately, the alignment of the machine will get changed and uh, yes, it will affect the productivity, working condition and output of the machine. So, that will be affected by the company and the factories and the owners also. And uh, at the same time, it is also dangerous for the workers also that are dealing with that machine. Next is vibration. Vibration is mainly taking place because of the change in the position of the different components. So, because of the change in the working components, the vibration will take place. Let's see that at a time when the strength of the material or various parts in the clearance of the mating surface are being not as per the requirement, then the vibration will take place. And once the machine has got overloaded, then the wearing will take place, working will not be properly as per the design and as a result of this, different kind of vibration will be found on the machine. So, failure can also take place and machine is required to be repaired. Let's see the video of the vibration. So, here you can see that there is a saw that is cutting the trunk of the uh, tree that is being used for the for making of the wood or timber for the different purpose. This is how the motorized operated saw is cutting the tree. And as a result of this, you can see that the motor is being heated because of the continuous working and the vibration is being caused because we all know that a trunk is a quite heavy product. So, it requires a lot of effort to cut and as a result of this, it is being overloaded and ultimately we can see that vibration is taking place in the motor of the saw. And uh, this is how the vibration occurs because it has reached its capacity and though it is working. So, as a result of this, the vib uh, vibration will occur. Moving to the next. Noisy operation. So, when we brought some, when we bring some machine, it will have a good sounding. But day to day, we are using it. So, by more usage, there will be the change in the noise of the machine. The reason behind that is only the wear. Because of the wear, the clearance will be found between the bearing and the shaft and the gear. As a result of this, the position that has been designed by the manufacturer will not be maintained. And then as a result of this modification, the noise will be found. The noise will become when the operation is being in the usage. And because of this, the increase in the pairing of the parts will strike on each other. The parts will strike on each other in an unpleasant way. So, yes, the noise will be found because of this and this noise will be unbearable and intolerable by the operator. So, as a result of this, the problem can occur and uh, yes, it is necessary that it should be rectified as early as possible because there is a chance of the major accidents. So, it is necessary that noise should not be found. Yes, we have a printing machine where the machine is being printing the lots of paper. But it will not be the same when it was the new. When the machine was brought new, it was having some normal sound or a pleasant sound. But when it has got aged or the more it has worked, there will be the change in the noise of the machine. And as a result of this, it is necessary to be repaired. Otherwise, at some point, the break can occur and it will stop working. So, that will be affected by the owner. So, it is necessary that the proper repairing should be done and whatever the modification that is being required at an given stage should be done. So, this is how the noisy operation occurs. Leakage development. We all know that the 
machines are being jointed with the help of bolts and nuts but we all know that with the working the more the machine will work the more will be the vibration and because of this vibration the loosening of the bolts and the nuts will be found so because of this vibration the joints will get loosened because the nuts and the bolts have got loosened and as a result of this the packing that we that is being found at the flange joint will be loosened and the oil will be coming out from that joint and it will be spreading all over the machine and uh, this is how the leakage will occur there is also an another reason that how the leakage will occur leakage also occur because of the corrosion because of the corrosion the dimension of the material for example pipe the dimension will get modified majority it will uh, it will reduce only so because of this reduction of the dimension the load taking capacity or the uh, load resisting capacity of the material will get reduced and as a result of this the formation of the cracks and the crevices will be found at the surface and from these crevices the possibility of the leaking of the oil occurs so this is how the oil will get leaked from the surface of the material and this is also a reason and if the oil or the any kind of lubricant is being leaking out from the material then it will spoil the overall material and as a result it should be uh, it will cause the erosion so this is how the erosion will be occurring so this is a tap where some uh, misfunction has been occurred or might be uh, it has been overloaded or it is being working since long time and if its maintenance is not being done then this is how the leakage will occur from the material similarly the leakage will occur from our pipes that is being jointed so yes the leakage can occur in this way moving towards the next topic that is the reduce in the efficiency we all know that with the increase in the wear the load taking capacity of the material reduces and as a result it will affect its output so ultimately efficiency will be affected so we all know that wear is nothing but the change in the uh, the, the uh, clearance between the two components so yes the clearance will be increased the wear will increase and because of this the rigidity will cause the vibration then that will be affected by the machine so as a result the load taking capacity will be reduced and uh, as a result desired output or the ma machine will be not be properly utilized so as a result of this the efficiency of the machine will be reduced so this is how, what i have discussed earlier also now next see the complete abrasion so we all know that machine is working daily it is resisting the wear but there is a point when it will not be able to resist the wear that is being caused because of its daily usage and once this stage occur at a time where it will not be able to tolerate the wearance or the wear because of its daily usage then we can say that a stage has occurred where the complete abrasion of the machine has taken place so this is how the complete abrasion is being taking uh, due to this condition at any time the breakage can occur and the work will be stop at a time no production can be done at that time and the repairing is required and the repairing after this condition will be too costly so proper analysis should be done and proper decision should be taken and if necessary the replacement should be done because it is beyond the limit of the repairing or we can say that it is beyond the limit of the resisting abrasion so at that time it will be intolerable now we have completed the different effects of the wear on the machine we have discussed each and every wear we have listed out and have a brief discussion on it now moving towards the next topic that is the least 
of the wear reduction method we all know that wear is taking place daily but there is there are some methods with the help of which the reduction can be taken in the wear and these are first method that is improved lubrication method next is increase the surface hardness of the parts improving the surface finishing next is proper surface treatment or the surface coating the fifth one is protection of the surface against the ingress of dirt dust and the metal particles sixth one is the maintenance of the proper cleanliness seventh one is the preventing the overloading on the machine eighth one is the controlled atmosphere so these are all the methods that is being used for the reduction of the wear so we will be having a deep discussion on this method in the next session thank you for attending the session see you in the next session hello students so hereby we are coming to the end of our virtual class session of the subject of industrial safety we have discussed a lot regarding the topics of the today's session so if you have any kind of a doubts if you have any kind of queries you can send me your doubts and queries via mail my mail id will be in my channel so check into my channel like it and mail me whatever the doubts you have and thanks again for attending the session see you in the next session